or add a Canva website template into Google Sites. In today's tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of adding a Canva website template to a Google Sites. So it's a simple and straightforward procedure, but it's important to follow each step carefully to avoid any mistakes. Okay, so by the end of this tutorial, you will have successfully integrated the template into your Google Sites page. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. So to begin, we will start with the initial steps. Okay, so to begin, let's head over to Canva website and create an account if you don't have any. So after that, on your Canva dashboard, just go to the website section here and click on that. Once you are there, we will select a suitable template for the available options. So just take your time to browse through the given templates. And when you find the one that caught your eye, uh, proceed with the next step. So personally, I find this uh, particular template uh, visually appealing. Okay, so we have the option to perform this task either on the free plan or the paid plan of Canva. But it's important to note that certain templates are only available for use on the paid plan. So if you find yourself in need of such templates, upgrading to the pro plan might be worth considering. Okay, now that we have selected our website template, let's proceed to make some customization uh, to design it according to our preferences. So here you can modify the template as per your liking. Okay, so once you have completed the customization uh, process and satisfied with the final result, we will move on to um, the next step. Okay, so here look for the share button that located at the top of the page. So just click on the share button and then scroll down and click on the more option. Okay, so here as you can see from the drop down menu, just select embed. Although there are different uh, methods available, choosing for this approach is considered the simplest. Okay, so by clicking on embed, you will be presented with uh, two options, HTML embed code and smart embed link. So here the smart embed link is uh, recommended choice and functions in the following manner. So if you have a website, using Canvas HTML embed code is better option in my opinion. It gives us more flexibility and allows us to do a lot more. Okay, so now let's copy this code and uh, transfer it to the Google side. Now let's just proceed with the implementation of Google Sites website. So to begin, navigate to the pages uh, section on the side. Here you'll find it at the top of the page. So look for this small ad icon at the bottom of the page and then click on it. So this allows you to add a new page if you wish, but I suggest another approach, which is instead of uh, adding a new page, just choose for a full page embed option. Well, this option enables you to embed contents within an existing page, enhancing the user experience. Okay, next, just click on the add icon as, as I mentioned earlier. So when you are asked to provide a name for the new page, uh, you can just simply call it um, Canva One or Canva Homepage or anything that you want. So here's the suggestion. It might be a good idea to create each page in a Canva first and then transfer them to the Google Sites. Uh, anyway, once you have decided on the name, just click on the done button to proceed. 
okay so after clicking done here you'll see an option to add embed so just to clarify you can also accomplish this through google drive but for now let's just focus on the method we discussed so just click on add embed and then select embed code okay now all you need to do is copy the code you get from canva and paste it in the provided uh, area okay so now once you have pasted the code you're good to go just proceed by clicking next and then it may take a moment but you'll soon notice that the content has been successfully added and once it appears just click on insert and just like that you'll see the entire page you created in a canva now integrated into your um, google sites okay so now for the next step i suggest going to the top of the page and locating the option to publish the site so just click on that and a prompt will appear just asking you uh, to provide a name for the site so simply enter the descriptive name but in our case let me just say test site for now So, okay, yeah, after entering the name, a new window will open up and displaying the published version of your site. So, after publishing your site, you can verify its functionality. So, in my case, I have um, my published site open and I can test it out to ensure everything is working as intended so just by interacting with the site you can uh, click on the text and drag it across the screen this shows that the content is not merely an image or but an actual functioning website so once you incorporate the necessary coding for the different components uh, the site will become interactive and function smoothly well that's the process in general so from here you can continue navigating back and forth between the editing, publishing your Google site. It involves editing different elements, adding new pages, and consistently publishing them to ensure smooth functionality. So that was all for today. I hope you found this information helpful and enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.